Hi, I'm Amber Coulter with Amber Coulter Creative. I'm a teaching artist for Arts for All of Northern Michigan. Arts for All provides accessible art and culture opportunities for people of all ages and abilities. You can learn more at artsforallnmi.org. So let me tell you about what is in your kit. We have some India ink in black, an assortment of bleeding tissue paper, some water-soluble pastels, assorted paintbrushes, a glue stick, acrylic paints in assorted colors, We'll also get cards with envelopes and a mixed media journal. So today we're going to work with bleeding tissue paper, which is really fun. Um, when you put it on your page and then you get it wet, it bleeds and runs into itself and makes really cool backgrounds. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that and then we'll have some backgrounds that later we can make a self-portrait on top of and also use one to cut up and collage with. So to start, just gonna set some pieces down on the paper, get it just a little wet. You do wanna be mindful if you are using warm and cool colors together, they may bleed a little bit and make a muddy brown, but that's okay, they're absolutely no mistakes in this kind of art. All right, so I'm just gonna give those another spray. If you don't have a water bottle, you can just as easily wet a paintbrush and just get some water down on there. And that works just as well. So once that's wet, we're just gonna set it aside and let it dry completely before we pull them up. I'm gonna go ahead and work directly into an art journal page. Um, another thing that you can do is you can cut it into different size pieces. So that you have a little more variety. If you want to cut it into circles or triangles or hearts, you can definitely do that too. Or if you wanted to cut it into strips, If you want to be less random and just use all of one shade, I'm going to go ahead and give this just a quick spritz before I add that. I'm just going to use shades of blue for this one. You can just throw them down or you can set them down really intentionally, whatever works. If you don't want to cut, you can just tear them. You can overlap them or you don't have to overlap them. I'm just going to give it another spray. And you can already see where it's pulling up and bleeding a little bit. So I'm just going to set that aside. So here's one that I did earlier. So once it's completely dry, they should peel right up. It might stick just a little bit. They should come right up. And this is what I'm left with. So this one, um, there was just a few placed randomly Here's some more examples. Here's one where a lot of paper was used and also a lot of water was used. So you can see where it pools and you almost can no longer see the square pattern. Here's one where a whole lot of water was used um, and only a few squares. So it makes this really dreamy watercolor like background. There's a couple more like that. Here's one where I was really strategic about where I placed the colors um, and then 
used less water so that it bled less. So India ink is a really fun um, medium to use. I typically start by dipping my paintbrush in some water and then right into the paint or ink. And then you can just make some marks depending on the paintbrush you're using. It's pretty dark. And then you can add some more water and sort of make more water down, more of a watercolor look. Um, another thing that I love using ink for is to splatter, which is really fun. It's great for backgrounds in your journals. And also, if I put a decent amount of ink at the top and then dip it in some water, I should be able to let it drip down. Just add a little more water or a little more ink. down. So that's another fun way that you can use it. Another way that I love to use it is to hold the paintbrush by the top instead of where you would hold a pencil and just write really loosely. Write some words. And that's another great way to add some interest to a page. So we are going to make I'm going to do a quick sketch of a flower. You can do anything here. Just going to just a really simple little sketch. Let me do a little bud. All right. And then what I'm going to do is just cut around that flower. I'm just going to cut in sort of an oval shape. You can cut exactly around it if that's what you'd like to do. And then I'm going to take one of the pages that we made earlier with our tissue and I'm just going to glue this on with my glue stick and these can be a little finicky any kind of glue or tape would work just fine I'm just going to glue that right on and there I have a page. Now I could have done that right in my journal. I'm just doing on a um, separate sheet of paper just to show you um, what can be done. Could also glue this into a journal or maybe poke some holes and um, add some rings and make your own journal out of that. So we're going to take another one of our pages and we're going to do a self-portrait. We're sort of going to do it um, sort of a blind contour where you don't really pick up your brush, but we're going to have to get more paint. So I'm going to have to pick it up a little bit. I'm going to start by holding it by the tip of the brush, just going around, adding my eyes. glasses so I'm gonna add those on add a neck and then I'm gonna go ahead just add some hair and there you go I think it looks just like me so here are a few examples in my journals um, where I used 
the ink and the tissue paper. So here's a page where I just did some mark making and some drips and then I will go over this later and maybe add some acrylic paint or some colored pencil um, or collage an image from a magazine over it. This is just to get something on the page so that I'm not starting with a white page when I come to it later. On this page, I just had a painted acrylic background and I cut circles out of those um, sheets that we made with the bleeding tissue paper and I just glued them on and then I took the India ink and just painted around it and added some extra water so that it dripped and then added um, some black splatters on there as well.